For several weeks now, the city of Shanghai has been under a strict lockdown because of yet another wave of COVID cases. And as NBC News' Janice Mackey Freire reports, tensions there are boiling over. Desperation and defiance in Shanghai. <laughs> These videos verified by news agency Associated Press showing outright clashes. Police in white medical suits appearing to wrestle with residents who were ordered to surrender their homes so they could be turned into COVID isolation sites. One woman on the ground is shouting, I beg you please, others being dragged away. With the lockdown in its third week, most of Shanghai's 25 million people remain confined. And pandemic precautions are making a comeback in some parts of the United States as well, with cases back on the rise after a two-month decline. But it is still business as usual for much of the country. It's really leading to a lot of panic buying, uh, uh, stores, uh, takeout restaurants, and also uh, a growing sense of uh, fatigue, frustration, or even anger really bursting online. But even though all of this is taking place in Shanghai, the decision, of course, is being made here in Beijing. And Hey fam, welcome back. We're about to go into the Walmart marketplace. See what's going on. Keep prepping, keep getting the items that you need. Every day is something new. They're still having the lockdowns in Shanghai. It's been about a month now of lockdowns. They're having um, severe shortages of food. People are saying that they are going hungry. They are complaining and things are just really bad over there the ports are still closed as far as i know so nothing's really moving that means short so the shortages that they're having over there and the ports being closed right now and nothing moving all of that trickles down and eventually it will make its way to us because we get a lot of our imports from china the omicron variant the sub 2 version of it the variant it is rapid over there and it is starting to tick up in numbers here in the united states especially in new york um so i think you may see a lot of places going back to mask mandates you may see a lot of places doing a lot of things that aren't mandated um, by the government but just businesses of their own saying hey look you're gonna have to do this if you want to enter this business. and of course we have shortages with food you know about that but we have shortages of ingredients we've had that shortage for a long time not a lot of people have been talking about it but it's gotten worse as time has gone on so some companies don't have the ingredients to make those items that you love so much so you may not be able to find certain things on the menu when you go out to eat or when you ordering stuff online they may not have it it may be out then you have the trucker situation going on. You got truckers in Texas that's protesting the weight that it takes for them to get through the border of Mexico. And then you have the whole state of emergency in Georgia with the truckers being allowed to drive extended hours, you know, leaving it up to them whether or not they're tired or not to stop. Um, I think it's dangerous. I hope that it helps, you know, with the empty shells, but I think it's a ploy. So as to not make this a extremely long intro, um, I hope you guys are having a great Easter and enjoying your family. Uh, I'm about to head into the store, so let's go see what it looks like. I love you, but God truly loves you more. And if no one has told you they love you today, I love you. If no one has told you how special you are and what you mean to them, you mean the world to me. So be blessed. See you in the next video.
a dollar ninety-eight in here. I've seen them higher. So although it looks like they have a lot of meat over there, they really don't. The section has been condensed. They don't have any canning supplies in here. Thank you all for watching and tuning in. Have a blessed, happy holiday and stay safe. Please subscribe if you have not. We would love for you to join us over here on Tommy Bike. To the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow.